Hey kids, it's Robert right here at Fochisi Twists and Melts. Now we just made an awesome milkshake, but grilled cheese is not just grilled cheese, bread and cheese and butter, right? It could be desserts too. So I'm gonna show you one of these real quick dessert melts that you can make at home. And this one we serve at the restaurant. Everybody likes s'mores, right? The graham cracker, the Hershey's chocolate, the marshmallow. Now I'm gonna show you how we tie it all together and make a melt sandwich out of it or a dessert melt and we call it, give me some more, right? So how we gonna do it is, first thing you gotta know is I'm gonna teach you how to make a really good uh, vanilla, French vanilla egg batter that you can use for French toast, right? So the first thing is you're gonna need a bowl. Gotta put on your gloves, right? Next is these eggs. Now you can have your parents help, you need six eggs. Right, I'm gonna crack those eggs in there like this, right? And we're gonna grab any shells that we get in there and you're gonna crack it. Now this is fun, right? You can just whoop, just like that, okay? Just like that, okay? Six eggs, real simple when you make French toast, all right? Then you can go ahead and you grab just a little bit of dash a dash of vanilla extract boom just like that then you're going to need a cup of cinnamon sugar now how do you make cinnamon sugar it's one to one so one cup of sugar one cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of cinnamon right and you're going to put that in there okay then you're going to need one cup of heavy cream what's heavy cream it's how you make whipped cream right it's a real thick, or if you don't have baby cream, you can use regular milk, right? And you're gonna put that in there. And that's gonna make our batter, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scramble it up, right? We're gonna whip it up. Now you can use this on French toast. You can make this with pancakes. You can do all sorts of stuff as this custard, but we're gonna do this French toast custard, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, right? So we put that, to the side, right? Okay, we're gonna let that rest right up here. Now, let's talk about the sandwich. Now, you can take any bread at home, any bread you like. This is sourdough, and sourdough is a, um, a culture, it means sour bread or bad bread, right? That's the, what sourdough means. But what they do is they take rotted dough, right? Spoiled dough, and then they take just a little bit, probably the size of your pinky to make 25 pounds of dough, like a huge batch of dough. It's called a starter, right? And that's why sourdough is like, has that smell of like fresh bread, okay? So it's also tough, and meaning it makes the best grilled cheese, right? So what we're gonna do is we take this bread. <laughs> then we have some of that chocolate spread that you see at the store, right? Nutella, right? Hazelnut and chocolate butter, right? And we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna smear it on one side like that, like we're gonna make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, right? We're gonna do that. Then on the other side, everybody knows what fluff is, right? That's that marshmallow whip, right? We're gonna take a big bunch of that, whoop! And we're gonna go on the other side, right? And we're just gonna make sure that's on there. Now you can make, you can eat this sandwich the way it is and it'll be super good, right? But we're not done yet, guys. Next is we're gonna take, we got Cocoa Puffs, right? And we got Golden Grams and we got mini marshmallows and we mixed it all together, right? And what we gonna do is we gonna put a big old heap right in the middle, just like that. Big old heap right in the middle, okay? Then we're gonna take our sandwich and we're gonna lit it up. Boom, just like that. You got a s'more, give me some more sandwich that you can eat just like this. Or we go ahead and the next step is we're gonna take this French toast batter and we're going right to the grill. Now, if you don't have one of these flat top grills, you can go ahead <laughs> with your parents' help with a little butter in a frying pan, you could be doing this right at home. So what you wanna do, is you want to take butter, you want to put some butter down, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the whole sandwich and you're going to dip it 
into that French toast batter that we just made, right? Just like that. And you want the excess to drip off, and then you're going right in the bath of that butter. And you're gonna brown it like French toast, right? So, by the magic of TV, we already had one going. So what you're gonna do, gonna flip it and we're looking for it to brown like French toast okay you want all the edges all that caramelized sugar and egg batter and then what we're looking for is nice and tender okay nice and tender right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and let it cook just for a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is this you guys are checking that out checking out how it's cooking we're gonna grab the tray I'm going to show you how to go ahead and plate it up because we eat with our eyes first, right? Anything that we get, when we get it, we want it to look awesome, but not only taste great, but look great, right? So I'm going to show you how we're going to decorate this, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take a knife and you're going to just cut it right there, right down the middle. And then we're going to take one of our halves. Look at that, guys. Woo! all that gooeyness right there. Take the other half and we go right on the top just like that. And we want it to ooze out, right? Now I'm gonna show you how we go ahead and decorate. Come on. So once we have it, we wanna go ahead and put a little whipped cream, right? So we're gonna serve it with a little whipped cream up the side, just like that. We're gonna take some of this chocolate sauce in a squeeze bottle and we're just gonna go like that boom then we're gonna take some caramel and go the opposite way all right then we're gonna grab a big old fistful of them cocoa puffs and graham crackers and we're just gonna garnish it just like that over the top and then we can go ahead and put all these crazy garnishes like these, these little cookies, and have fun with it. Just like this. Waffle chocolate cookies, just like that. And then we hit it with a little powdered sugar. And that's how we make, give me some more, right here, dessert grilled cheese right here at Faux Cheesy Twist and Melts, right on St. Pete Beach. So make sure you try this at home or come check it out on the beach right here at Faux Cheesy. Give me some more.